I lied about where I had been. I lied about where I had found information. And these were no normal lies. They were lies with details. I had never driven south down US 77 in the blazing heat. Never crossed the railroad tracks near the Anguiano household. I had never left my apartment in Park Slope, Brooklyn. I can still remember the sweat, the kind of panic. So once you cross that barrier where you know the chances are you won't be caught, um, it becomes very hard, you know, to discipline yourself. The Jason Blair debacle became shorthand for all of the shortcomings of the news business. Because it happened at the New York Times, because there were so many stories involved, this became an explosion. It began as a reporting scandal and then quickly turned into a near mutiny by the staff. The New York Times is calling it a huge black eye. Was the paper too eager to promote an appealing young black voice? It became about race because a black person was involved. A black person cannot be involved in anything without it being about race. All the stuff that gets fused in and becomes like this snowball that just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. He had better tips than the entire Washington Post because he was making it up. We were dealing with a disturbed individual who was exhibiting sociopathic behavior. I had poured everything into journalism and I would lose it all. And I was losing it all. 